Hello and good morning. Welcome to the Mobile Technology Lab session. So for today's uh, lab session, we will be looking into making this fu button function and then link it to another activity. So in Android, a new activity means a new page. So far, what we have done in previous lab does not involve creating a new activity or a new page. So the objective for today's lab is to create a new activity and then link it to this button so that when we click this button, it will open a new activity. So to do that, I've already created several buttons uh, for this lab. So let's say you have three buttons and then you want one of the buttons to open up a new activity. So to do that, you have to go to main activity and then click file and then new and then add the activity so you can uh, add many activity that you want but uh, for java programming languages which is used in this class we will select empty views activity so you can name any activity that you like so you can put here profile profile activity okay for example so it is good practice to name your activity according to its functionality and link it to the button or link it to the menu uh, with the same name so that it would make it easier for you uh, to maintain the application later on so you can click finish Okay, let uh, the Gradle do its job. And then you can go to this activity profile. So it will have uh, two uh, Java file. One is for main. Another one is for profile activity. And then similarly, you will also have two layout files. One for main. And then one another one is for profile. So you can add a new uh, text view okay for this uh, activity so let's say that you want to put uh, a new text over here okay you can go to text okay let's say that you want to put your profile okay just as example and then you go to the text style over here or text size Okay, 60. Okay, just like this one. Do not forget to anchor if you are using a constraint layout. So here, right, it's your profile. Okay, next, you go to the main activity. Right, and then declare the, uh, the button. So the three button okay uh, okay button uh, so you can ha have your button profile okay button settings and button about so you can import this uh, button okay just by hovering it and then press alternate enter so usually it would import okay so it would import over here android widget button and then you go over here to see that the name of this uh, ID. So we can, the name of ID is button, button 2 and button 3. So very easy. Okay, button, button 2 and button 3. So you have to do a find view by ID over here. Okay, BTN profile. Okay. Button. And then BTN uh, settings. Okay, it's all uh, autocomplete over here. And then BTN about. Put here, button 3. And then you can activate uh, what we call as on-click listener. Okay, you can put here implements uh, on-click listener.
So, do not forget to import and add method or implement the method. Okay, on click. Okay, once it's done, you have to link. So, you can uh, link the button. So, we can link uh, this uh, button, okay, this profile to the on click listener. So, you can set it like this. <clears throat> so, here we have on click. So, if view equals to, so remember this view must be equal to here and then must be equal to this button profile. And then you can get a new um, action and then you have to run it okay uh, like this you can use intent so new intent so this okay so alternate enter do not forget to alternate enter to import the class so comma this and then uh, use the name of the profile uh, name of the profile activity or name of the activity that you need to open up over here so profile activity dot eh sorry profile activity dot uh, dot class and then just start the activity okay start the activity so start activity intent so I uh, think that's all for the code alright okay create method Okay, now we can rerun back the application. Okay, let's look at the demonstration. When you click profile, it will open up a profile page. So that's simple, right? Okay, very simple. Okay, the button is already functioning. Okay, similarly, you may also create a back button over here. Okay, you can also add the menu, but we will uh, explore that on the next lap. So, you can also create a new uh, menu over here. Okay, uh, at the settings. Okay, using, uh, it's not menu, sorry, a new activity over here for settings. So, we have already created profile. Okay, you can also create uh, for the setting. Okay, to repeat back. Okay, in order to create a new activity for settings over here, what you need to do is just to create a new activity. So, a new activity over here. Put your mouse over here. Okay, select new activity. So, you can put in any type of activity but I... I uh, would suggest you to use a simple one, okay, just like this, okay, okay, and name it according to its functionality, like setting activity, okay, okay, right, next, uh, you can fill in the setting activity with uh, any uh, asset that you want, okay, let's say that you want to put a, a text view, okay, right text view okay put your name settings okay and then the text size you can uh, uh, blow it up okay just like this and then you don't forget to anchor it okay you can do it like this okay and then finally you go back to the main activity and then uh, link it with the setting button settings so button setting that you have already created and link you should link it with on click listener like this and then type else if okay view equals to btn settings so what you have to do here is just declare an intent new intent this okay setting activity dot class so the name is taken from the name of the class okay over here or over here 
right and then what left to do is to just start the activity okay just like this okay sorry start the activity uh, with the name of the intent <coughs> <coughs> right okay now it's finished and then when you run it again we'll get it okay setting okay like this so you have two page already linked together so uh i think that's all that uh, i want to demonstrate to you be seeing you in the next lab session